First of all, you have to take off the blue styling cover and the styling cover holds two screws, one on this side and one on the another side. It depends what kind of screws do you have. You have to use a Phillips Torx or ordinary screwdriver. I have installed such a screws that I can remove the screw with the hand and it's quite handy, useful. So I'll disconnect it on the other side as well. Now we can take off the styling cover like this, push it up a little bit. The next step is to use a Phillips screwdriver like this and disconnect the plastic part of the handle. There are four screws, two here and two over here. You can do it with the cordless screwdriver or with the ordinary Philips screwdriver, it's up to you. As you can see, I can take off the plastic handle. Now you need a key like this, number 13. And over here are two screws and you have to remove them to take out the metal part of the handle. They are connected to the metal pump. Now we can disconnect the diesel tank. Over here you can see the diesel tank. It's got, I think, 4 liters capacity. And first, before you can take it off or take it out, you have to disconnect the two things with the pipes. First is this one. And over here is another one. So I'll just aside. And the way how to take off the diesel tank is you have to push it up a little bit like this. And then over here on this left side, you have to find the way yourself how to take it out and it goes like this. As you can see it's got plastic hooks like this and they hold it in the main body of the pressure washer.
The next step is to disconnect the copper wire that is connected over here where the high pressure hose is being connected under normal circumstances. And the purpose of this copper wire is that it's kind of a sensing the temperature, hot water temperature that flows through the pipe. And whenever it crosses, I think 90 degrees, then it, it gave or it's giving a signal to the main unit. And over here is a thermo, thermo shoot and it's switching off the machine. So I'll disconnect this copper wire. And now whenever you have it, you can remove with number 22 high pressure hose that is connecting water pump and the double coil where the water is being heated. So I'll disconnect it. Practically I don't have to really what I'll do it disconnect it over here. And now I'll show you the system how to take out the double coil. First, you have to remove this like this and take it out. And whenever you have done it, you can just pull the double coil out of the body of the hot fresh washer like this. As you can see, it's massive. It's got, I think, over 18 kgs. Now when the, there is a water, some water inside, so it's, it's got maybe 20 kgs. As you can see, it's made of steel. It's made of, I think, three millimeters thick steel, and it's up to 200 bars, whenever it's new, of course. And the water flow is maximum 21 liters per minute. So there is inside a flame when, whenever the diesel is burning and it's heating the, this double coil. So I'll put it aside as well. And now we can focus on disconnecting the main part that we wanted. And it's a water pump. As you can see, it's a massive, high quality water pump. So first we will take out or take off the plastic pressure regulator, just pull it up like this and put it aside. And now, very important is to, before you start to remove the two for eight screws on the water pump, first of all, you have to disconnect this Pressure, pressure, not the regulator, but it's a place where the where you can see what kind of operating pressure is right now. Usually this machine operates, I think, at 90 bars, but it's really powerful machine and with really strong cleaning power. So use the T 
thinner Phillips screwdriver and disconnect these two screws over here on this. And you will see soon why it is very important. So I'll take them out. And whenever these two screws are removed, then you can... I have to use kind of the long pliers to take out the screw. You have to, with number 22, first disconnect this electronic part from this regulator and with number 22 you have to release a little bit this screw. And if it's connected, if it's, if, it will, if it's still connected, you can break it. So you have to release it a little bit and then, but only a little bit, move anti-clockwise the screw hopefully it will go it's not that easy maybe i use the hammer a little bit but be careful very careful i'm doing it and do it gently There you go, you can see that I have done it successfully and I hope I will be able to disconnect this now. Do it very carefully. There is a spring that holds this, so I'll disconnect it. And now, as you can see, I have successfully disconnected the electronic part from this. So I'll put it aside. And now, whenever you have done it like this, you can easily disconnect the water pump by removing eight screws over here. So use Allen key like this and you can start. There is an exact, exact pro procedure, I don't have the paper over here, how to install the water pump, which screws have to be installed first. But I don't think that there is an exact procedure how to remove them. So whenever, wherever you start, it doesn't really matter, I think. I think I can mention it now. You can see that it's massive, it's a massive pump with the brass screws. Whenever you need to change the valves, inlet or unlet valves, I think it's better to do it whenever the pump is installed. I think it's easier. If you use the reversible ratchet like this and number 22, if it, was, if it wasn't removed for a long time and checked, 
then you can use a little bit of double and applied WD-40 on this brass screws and it will go even easier. I won't do it now because I don't have to check it now. So I'll just remove these eight screws so you can see how this pump looks like. take out all eight of them they've got small metal washers so be careful whenever you are removing them and don't lose them and now whenever we have done all of this we can safely disconnect the water pump like this you've got three pistons there so you just slide it out carefully gently and there you go so now you can see how it looks you've got three pistons here these three pistons and whenever you are installing it, make sure that this electric cable is behind this and just slide in the pump and that's it. So you can have a closer look how this pump looks and as you can see the water is flowing out that left inside and what we will do in the next part i'll show you how to replace or change the water seals you've got six two two main water seals in each hole and there is a special tool tool if you would like to disassemble it completely all these brass packings but this tool cost maybe 150 euro and it doesn't make any sense for ordinary person to buy it. But there is a very specific way how to replace those six O-rings without the need of taking out these brass packings and all these plastic washers and, and O-rings, bigger O-rings. So many, many of these machines and this beautiful and very extremely reliable, powerful, professional hot power washer was sold under, under many brands. For example, Elektra Pecum or REM Power Elektromaschinen or in UK Taskmaster or in Italy as Porto Technica or IPC, Industrial Professional Cleaning uh, Eagle or even Electrolux, Swedish Electrolux sold it. These models were more or less the same, same principle, maybe different uh, power or, or size of the engine, but they were more or less the same. These, these were produced, and it's really high quality product, in Germany by a company called Elektra Beckum over 25 years ago. This company doesn't even exist anymore and doesn't provide any service and any spare parts. 
But thanks to the fact that these machines are still being produced even in 2023 under other brands, you can get 99% of the spare parts from other machines. So that's, that's really fantastic. But many people, even uh, authorized services in Germany and other European countries, doesn't know that or don't know that. And they simply uh, recommend to customers who would like to get this machine fixed to, to get rid of them for spare parts or to... And that's, that's, that's sad because it's a really this powerful, powerful, professional, high quality motor. It's originally made by Italian company Porto Tecnica. And this uh, pump, you can see, only this pump is worth as a spare part of, of around 400 euros, not to mention the, the engine and other parts or like double coil. And it's really, I have already disassembled it before and all is really very well built. So that's practically everything what I wanted to show you. In the next part, you will have a chance to see, for example, how to disassemble the motor and this electric fan or ventilator or, or impeller, it's called impeller as well. And uh, over here you've got this uh, massive oil chamber of the pump. And uh, whenever you are changing oil, you have to take off the cap from the top and you can even unscrew the top and on the bottom at the bottom you've got plastic screw always use a reversible ratchet i think i don't know now so check the numbers i think it's 22 but i'm not sure now and yes, with the 22, you can remove the plastic screw down below and pull out the old oil. So, thank you very much for watching this part. Have a good day. Bye.